Hello. Today I am going to show you how to use a hardware wallet to manage your Bitcoin self-custody on your smartphone. In the first video of this series, I created a Bitcoin wallet in Blue Wallet. I also discussed private keys, public keys, Bitcoin addresses, and mnemonic seed phrases. In the second video, I showed you how to remove the private keys from your device, while running a watch wallet that still allows for receiving Bitcoin. In both cases, your phone had access to your private key at some point, which is not a good idea. If you want to sleep well at night, you want to generate a private key on a device disconnected from the internet, where the attack surface is greatly reduced. This is where hardware wallets come in. This is Jade, a fully open source hardware wallet manufactured by Blockstream. It has a screen in the front, and a camera in the back. Jade is capable of creating private keys by itself without having to be connected to the internet. With the aid of QR codes, I can export the public key into a watch wallet that I can spin from, without exposing my private keys to the phone. A second way of connecting your hardware wallet to your client wallet is with a USB cable. But I am going to avoid this, favoring an air-gapped solution, relying exclusively on QR codes. On top of this, the hardware wallet is not even going to hold my private key. I will encode it into a QR code, write it down in a piece of paper, and import it into the device, only when I need to sign Bitcoin transactions. For most of the time, Jade will be off, not holding any keys whatsoever. This means that you must take very seriously what I discussed in the first video about backing up your private key properly. Your backups, are, your private key. So, to recap, you can download a reliable open source Bitcoin wallet into your phone, and generate a private key. You can delete your private key from the phone, and import it only when you need to spend. If you want to avoid sharing your private key with an online device, then you use a hardware wallet. Three scenarios. You physically connect your hardware wallet with a USB cable. You use your hardware wallet air gapped with QR codes. You use your hardware wallet as an ephemeral signing device, where the private keys don't persist in memory across sessions. I would encourage you to go with either one of the two air gapped solutions. It might make sense to keep the private key on your device, or not, depending on your particular situation. Don't be afraid of trying different things to adapt the setup to your needs. As long as your backups are safe, and undisclosed, you will be fine. Before moving on, make sure to understand everything I've discussed up until now. And remember to watch the previous two videos if you're confused about something. So let's start. In the description section below, there are useful links where you can learn about Jade. I would encourage you to install the latest firmware, and to disable Bluetooth permanently. Also, make sure to charge Jade for a few hours with a regular USB-C mobile charger. Once you've done that, turn it on. Initialize. New. 12 words. You will be shown the mnemonic seed. Please write it down in a piece of paper. When you finish, you will have to enter a few of the words to ensure that you indeed back them up. After that, you will be asked to physically connect Jade to a compatible wallet. If you choose to use the USB cable method, connect Jade now to a mobile wallet such as Green, or a desktop wallet such as Electrum, and provide a six-digit PIN to protect access to Jade. As I said before, I'm not gonna do this. So bear with me. First I will restore my wallet from the seed phrase I just backed up. If the backup is correct, I shouldn't get any errors. So restart Jade. Go to Advanced. Recovery phrase login. Yes. 12 words. And carefully insert your seed phrase starting from the first word. If you get the screen after you're done, it means that your backup is correct. Now that you've tested your backup, it would be a good idea to make multiple copies of it. I am asked if I want to encode my seed phrase into a QR code. Select yes. To complete this new backup, you need to have this template on a piece of paper. 
Below there is a link to a PDF that you can print, or you can just draw it yourself, as I have. Your choice. When you select next, you will be asked to draw one region of the QR code at a time, from A1, to C3. Using a regular marker will do the trick. So here I go. A, 1. A, 2. A, 3. B, 1. B, 2. B, 3. C, 1. C, 2. C, 3. Finished. Select Done. And you will have to scan your seed QR code. If you didn't make any mistakes, you'll get this message. If you have trouble scanning your drawing, here's a tip. Put a little more effort in regions, A1, A3, and C1. At this point you should make a few copies of this backup. Remember that these two kinds of backups, are encoded versions of your master private key. Anyone having access to any of these, will have full control of your wallet, and your funds. Back to Jade. Select OK. You will be asked if you want to log in with a bit 39 passphrase. Select No, for now. And finally, select QR. So this is what I've just done. First, I have generated a Bitcoin private key, on an AirGap device. Second, I have successfully tested the mnemonic seed phrase backup for this key. Third, I have encoded my private key in a seed QR code. And fourth, I have successfully tested this backup as well. The last step is to factory reset Jade, thus ensuring that there are no keys on the device from now on. Select Settings Device Factory Reset Select Yes and type the number that is printed to screen to confirm the action. Now it's time to import a watch wallet into my phone. First thing I'll do, is to turn on my Jade and load it with my private key. Then I will import the public key into Blue Wallet, by scanning a QR code. My new watch wallet will generate receiving addresses where I can deposit Bitcoin. Turn on Jade. Advance. Recovery phrase login. Yes. Scan QR. QR. Go to settings. Export public key. Open blue wallet in your phone. Add in a wallet. Import. Scan. I have a new watch wallet. Go to settings and show your receiving addresses. Once you have a watch wallet, receiving Bitcoin is pretty straightforward. Just generate receiving addresses and send Bitcoin to them. But what if your phone has been compromised and the wallet is showing you an address that does not belong to you? A hardware wallet can determine whether or not any given address has been derived from your private key. So remember, before sending Bitcoin to any receiving address or sharing it with anybody, make sure that it belongs to you by first scanning it, with Jade. I'll go back, and ask Blue Wallet to show me the first receiving address. I want to receive Bitcoin into this address. Let's make sure that it really belongs to me. In Jade, go back to the main menu, and select, Scan. As you can see, Jade is asking me to confirm that this is the address to be checked. Select Yes. Address verified. Everything is OK. Now I can share this address. I have just sent some Bitcoin to this address, from another wallet. Let's go back to Blue Wallet. I will refresh the wallet. 
I have a pending transaction. This transaction has been broadcasted into the Bitcoin network, but it is not confirmed. It has, zero confirmations. I will come back in a while and check again. Confirmed. Three minutes ago. The wallet shows a Bitcoin balance. Now I want to send Bitcoin from my wallet. But look at what I'm going to do first. I am going to uninstall Blue Wallet. So, where did my Bitcoin go? Certainly not to Jade. Every time I switch it off, its memory gets erased. So, where is my Bitcoin? All Bitcoin records are stored in a worldwide distributed network of nodes. Your wallet connects to this network through one of these nodes. In time, you will learn to use your own. The only way of making changes to this public ledger is to cryptographically prove ownership of any particular amount of Bitcoin. This is my private key. This is my proof. If I want to spend my Bitcoin, I only need two things. Access to the network, and my private key. This is what wallets provide. An interface to the Bitcoin network, through their Bitcoin full node. Or your own. I have downloaded another open source Bitcoin wallet. Green. Let's interact with this wallet another way, and connect Jade with a USB cable. This time, I'm going to make my private key persistent in Jade, so I won't have to scan my seed QR code every time I want to transact with Bitcoin. So the first thing I'll do, is to import my seed into Jade, in a permanent way. When I connect to Green, I will have to protect access to Jade with a 6 digit PIN. Green will start, it will read the public key from Jade, and recreate the balance of my wallet by querying the Bitcoin network. To send Bitcoin, I will have to specify, destination address, amount to send, and mining fee. Once I've checked the details of my transaction, Jade will sign it, and Green will broadcast it into the Bitcoin network. When I disconnect Jade, Green will not remember any details of my wallet. Every time I log in with Jade, my wallet will be recreated fully, from the public key. Initialize Recover Advanced Scan QR No passphrase Connect Jade to Green with a USB cable In Devices, select Blockstream Jade Single Signature Bitcoin Introduce a 6-digit PIN to protect access to Jade My wallet has been recreated. Here's my transaction. If you want to receive, check this out. Verify on device. Okay. So I will send all my Bitcoin from this wallet to somewhere else. I'll scan the QR code of the address where I want to send the Bitcoin. Send all funds. I will pay a mining fee of 5 Satoshis per byte. Send. Slide to confirm.
and carefully check all the details of the transaction in Jade. Destination address. Amount to send. And fee. The transaction is signed and broadcasted into the Bitcoin network. Green picks it up from the network as an unconfirmed transaction. It has zero confirmations. I will log out and come back in a while. Notice that there's no wallet on green. As I said before, my wallet will be recreated from my public key, every time I log in with Jade. Introduce your PIN to unlock Jade. There's my wallet. My last transaction is already confirmed. It has two confirmations. If you've managed to do all this, congratulations. You're on your way to becoming a sovereign individual. I want to end this video by pointing you in the right direction. There's plenty more to improve in terms of security and privacy. This is the network settings in Blue Wallet. You are using someone else's node to connect to the Bitcoin network. Don't kid yourself. You are trusting them to do all the Bitcoin validation for you. The same goes for Green Wallet. If you are not providing a node of your own, you are connecting to theirs. You must run your own Bitcoin full node and learn how to connect to it remotely. Don't trust. Verify. The last thing I'm going to encourage you to learn about, is BIP39 passphrases. You've learned that from a seed, you can generate a Bitcoin wallet. If you import the same seed, and add a BIP39 passphrase, you will create a brand new Bitcoin wallet, with its own private and public keys, and different receiving addresses. Each wallet can have its own balance. And the existence of any one wallet, won't reveal the existence of any other. And yes, you can generate as many wallets as you like, each with its own unique passphrase. This is very convenient if you want to segregate your funds. You can think of these wallets, as accounts. Another benefit of using BIP39 passphrases, is that access to your seed alone won't give anyone access to all your Bitcoin. This particular wallet, could be empty. Or holding a very small amount. It is a cool way of playing the plausible deniability game. And the easiest way of geographically distributing the private keys that an attacker would have to know to steal your Bitcoin. Until next time.